Hey guys, Afterburn here, and it's Monday night when I'm recording this. Time for the next episode. Let's do this. All right, and welcome back. Now we are on to, dear Lord, stage 12 of Eagle Moss's Build the Nissan GTR. And in this section, we're going to be doing the rear suspension lower mount. Also, other things we're going to need in this issue is the wheel and suspension setup that we did in packs in pack two. We're also going to need the suspension setup from pack eleven, and. If you bear with me, I'll get these parts open and we can start. Okay, so pack is open. In here we have the lower mount for the suspension. We have a bunch of pieces. I'm not going to pull them out. That's easier for me if I do them one at a time. And even with this, I'm just going to throw it back in here, take it one at a time. We also have FM screws. They come with nuts. We've got some BP screws. I'm going to add these as we go to our running tally of screws. Luckily I have plenty of BPs. To go through. Yeah, I mean, it's Sunday the 13th. Stage 11, video 10 is going to be up this week. This will be up the week following. I'm just really bored tonight, and I felt like I should be doing something constructive with my time, and... This was the only thing I could think of doing, in all honesty. What the hell is going on? I see what I need. A cutter. These things are stuck together. I like having things organized. As well as I can. I mean, you can't see it, but I have different vials of paint. I'm like kind of messy when it comes to this stuff, but when it comes to screws and small parts, I want to keep them as together as I possibly can get them, so. And I know this is a lot of nothingness, but in my mind this is going to work out. Anywho, How's your week? Hope everyone's doing well. You know, considering everything that's gone on, that's going on in the world at this moment. You know, hope everyone's at least attempting to stay positive. I know I am. I'm alive and I'm healthy. That's all that matters. You know. We also have a round of HP screws, which are really, really small. It's going to be really tight. 
They pack these really tight, I've noticed. But that's a good thing, I guess. And now my and after this my system gets a little confusing, but I believe everything will work out in the end because the last item in this pack. Whoa! Okay, more screws than I thought. So there's five lots of screws. We have H M screws and AM screws. Let me get all this unraveled and we can start. Okay, now that that's all handled and fixed and whatever, we gotta bring over the tire from our last run. And then we take in this piece that has the angle going this direction. This is the right clamp holder. Did I put them in wrong? Oh dear. Wow. Okay. I just noticed that when I did these bars here that I reversed them. I reversed their location so before this goes any further I'm gonna fix that. Okay so I literally did all that work for nothing I just had this whole section turned around I thought it was backwards turns out it's not. You know you live and you learn you know so what we're literally going to do is we're going to take this piece, which is the right clamp holder. And we're going to take one of these, a type FM screw, and we're just going to insert it through here. On the other end, we're going to put a nut. Let's see if I can do it without using the supplied bit, which I did. I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to tighten it up. I might just use the little wrench. I've added a piece of scotch tape to it just so it'll hold and not try to wiggle on me. just nicely. And that's all we do in that section. Move that off to the side because we have to bring out the cross member and in this hole here and this hole here we're going to take these U brackets and they they are keyed so they only fit in a certain way Let's see if this works nope so pieces aren't magnetized but that's okay We'll fit them in just like that. Okay, and I have my oil set up here on the side. I'm just going to 
use an AM screw, touch it in a bit of oil, and touch that down. And don't worry, I'll bring it closer to show you after I'm done. Again, touch it in some oil. This is just three to three to one, three in one oil, just to lubricate the screw a bit so it can hold a little better. And that's those two those two U brackets in place right there. Next thing we do, we take the member, cross member, put it back off to the side because we're bringing in the piece that we had in the last section, just like so. We're going to use this left one. And we're going to use the other bracket. FM super long FM screw and a nut. So if that's an FM, that's an EM. F and E. Let me get closer. There's the difference. The FMs are slightly longer. That's the ones we want. And if we take a, uh, take a look at it from this perspective, we want it on this side. Excuse me. I'm going to put it in like so. So that the angled bit is facing to the right and then we put the screw in on the right hand side making it go through to the left right there and then we take the teeny tiny nut here hex nut and I've been able to like, force it with my hand, but it's easier to hold it like so. And screw it in. So that's in. And I put that back off to the side. And they want me to take this back, and we're what we're gonna do. Now I was watching another video of someone doing this, and he had the idea of taking the sway bar off to get this next section done because it's kind of tough to do with the with the tire there. Put this over here so we can get it done afterwards. We need our BP screws for this. Now the last four pieces in the kit are just like this. And they are basically marry each other like so and all we do is we take a couple of BP screws 
course it's not going to work the way I want it to. Why should it? Because things are weird. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to need a different screwdriver for this because that is way too tiny for a thick handled screwdriver like that so I'll get my little one yeah that's better Somehow I pulled out three, which is the exact amount I need for this. That's lovely. Okay. And these are going to sit free for a bit. Do the same thing on the adjoining side. Just put that in. Wedge the pieces together. I think it was a good idea to take this off because to work with it on the tire would have probably been a nightmare. And wants me to put that back on, which I will. screwdriver and you want to make sure that it's going in the same way it was before and of course this stupid thing does not want to stay on my screwdriver have that in place. I'll make sure these pieces are out of the way. And now I'm going to actually need to bring the magazine up because this is getting small, even for me. And I can read small. What it wants me to do is on turn orient this piece that way and do something kind of like that's going to be tough wants me to do this with this facing down actually I probably should just do it with I should just attach this with this off and then 
lock it down with a screw with the screw afterwards back to the assembly. That makes a ton of sense. A ton more than I was giving it. So we want to make sure that the anti-roll bar is actually facing downwards but once we get this in with HP screws I won't have to worry about it Ugh, this is such a pain in the butt. Ugh, I don't know why this is just being so difficult, but... This is just a pain in the buttocks, and I know I'm going well over what I thought would be my time, but, you know, you can't rush these types of things. If you rush, you end up in pr with problems. Nope. Yeah. Guess that's as good as it will get. In my opinion. Obviously we can now uh, lovely screws disappear. But Is this going? Down that way. Okay. Okay, that was something else. That was just a little wrench. And this is just getting crazier and crazier 
and crazier. This stupid thing is at an angle. So it's not going to be the best thing for me, but I am doing the best I can. Okay. Next piece that they want us to install is this strut arm into that hole there. I want to turn this this way. And I need the wrench that fell on the floor. Lovely. Now the way they want us to do this is the screw will go in through this side with the nut facing this way. That bits in. And for the sake of fact, I'm gonna do this, throw this this way, because they want us to bring the other one over. Pretty much it's going to do the same thing. This bit over. And I realize now until I not until I get it hooked up is it going to look decently, so This thing is going to, going to be a rolling pain in my butt. Because nothing can ever go my way, can it? You go under, you go over. And we're in. Now, where did I put that other nut? If I even took one out. Oh, lovely. Things like to disappear. No matter.
Ah, found it. Hiding under the camera foot pad. Camera's, the, the, the camera's tripod foot pad. That's what I wanted to say. So we'll load that up there. Get the screwdriver into place with the nut. Just get in the way constantly, but Now that that's in, we're going to turn the whole assembly over, it's supposed to, but this is not the way it's going to end up. We just want to insert those clamps that we had before into their respective slots. As you can see on that side, it's got a locating tag and a screw hole, so we're just going to Do that. I'm going to do it on this non tired, non tire side first. Now that I realize it is an HM screw that we're using. I'm going to use the oil. And slot that into place. Same thing on the other side here. So lay it flat on this side so it holds. Touch it in some oil. Now, when, there's, when all is said and done, the sway bars will be plugged in here, and the if I can get things fixed up. The sway bars will plug into a little recess in the in the bar there. This cable will go through here. That comes in the next section. But the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into my type DMs.
which is the little short stumpy one with the flange on it, is we're going to attach the sway bar to the other half of the suspension. Hopefully. This is a pain in the butt to line up. Good, I see it. This might, this will not show up on camera, but I'll show you. The finished product. What the fudge? Hmm. Because there's so many floppy parts. On this suspension here that... Trying to get them to cooperate. Is like getting a stubborn mule to move. And I know this is taking forever. You know what, I'm going to cut it here. Okay, that's one of the things you really can't do with a camera underneath your chin. Trying to get all these pieces lined up just so you can get a little screw. Where is it? Right down in there. Right here. Just to hold all, this pieces, all these pieces together. And this is, that is the end of stage getting a lot of things put together in the next stage stage 13 we'll put a top on this and hook up more of this together so until next time please like my please watch the rest of the videos in this section if you haven't already please comment and subscribe other than that i'll see you later stay frosty